man, I've never seen a shoe like that, man. That's the craziest shoe we've ever seen. Grab it. Let's do a review session with Jay Lando. What's up? What's good, YouTube? You're with Jay Lando, and welcome to another episode of Review Sessions. Now, I apologize because I've been dropping a lot of reviews lately. I'm sure some of you can sympathize because the sneaker game is tough right now to cop for retail. I've been taking L after L after L after L. It's funny how it ebbs and flows because lately my accounts have actually been hitting. I do have some shoes that are going to be coming in later this week and next week. So make sure to smash that thumbs up, hit that subscribe and that notification bell because I'll be bringing you news and reviews as much as I possibly can. Now, I hit the resale market for this particular sneaker, and that is the Nike SB Dunk Low Paisley. Now, I just had to have this shoe because I love the earthy tones of this colorway. Now, some people on the internet are saying that it reminds them of their grandmother's couch with the plastic on it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But for me, it's beautiful. Some people think it's hideous, and that's to each his own. But I just had to have this shoe. We're going to get into a little bit more of these details and all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Now let's dive into this thing. Kicking things off with the cardboard box, we have that purple Nike SB. Nothing special here, y'all know what it is. It reads Nike SB Dunk Low Pro PRM Coco Wow Summit White US Size 11. Wow, what a description. Coco Wow must mean this paisley colorway that runs through the entire upper. Now we have a canvas material at the top of the toe cap. It's also in the mid portion and for the back right here. For the toe cap overlay that runs through the eye stays, it is a mesh tear away. Also for the eye stays right here and moving to the back. Now that's revealing a beautiful white grayish suede, which adds some contrast to the shoe. I will not be doing that with my pair of sneakers. I am sorry, y'all. But you can look on the internet and find it. It looks pretty dope. Some people prefer it that way because the paisley is a lot for them. Now you can tell that we have a lot of different colors here with some pinks, blues, greens, and some browns. There is that piping that runs along the overlays, which I'm not too happy about. I wish they didn't have this to contrast this shoe. But at the end of the day, I put this sneaker on for a second. It doesn't look too bad. For the tongue, you can see we have that brown thick cut of leather with the Nike SB in white. For the back heel, you can see it's a stitched in Nike, a tumbled leather swoosh on both sides, white set of laces, and then on the other pair, you have an interchangeable brown, which is not gonna be me. I'm gonna keep it white to contrast with this midsole. And then we have that khaki outsole which is super dope with the pink Nike SB there. And then for the inner sock liner, it's brown. You can maybe pick up that Nike SB in pink and it's a brown insole as well. So all in all, this sneaker is very, very nice. The quality is there. Super happy with it, even for the resale price. I did get it from GOAT. I don't know why they give these out. Now, the reason why I was willing to pay resale for this sneaker, which wasn't tremendous because I got it at a perfect time. I put a really good bid in you guys mostly know how it goes like it get, get out of hand really quick so i just jump on it when i know that i want the shoe i was uncertain whether it was going to release in the u.s and i didn't really want to take the chance even though the price can come down if it does come in the u.s because you know you either love it or you hate it but the materials and quality control are almost always there with nike sb dunks i don't know why they don't do that with a lot of the Jordans and the shoes that cost about 200 bucks, like the basketball shoes and all that. It just doesn't really make sense to me, but they love to put their time and energy into making these shoes. So the execution is fantastic. The colorway, I love. It's not for everybody. I mentioned that before. You either love it or you hate it. Now, I'm obviously on the side of loving this. Just all the tones, colorways, how they pop, the light shines on it differently so you get a different look from this shoe all the time now the materials obviously are a1 you have this beautiful tumbled leather you have the canvas and the tear away the piping everything about this shoe just screams quality to some people the paisley print isn't exactly what they would consider to be quality or aesthetically pleasing i'll say but i love it and that's what matters when you're 
buying shoes for yourself. So make sure that you really enjoy the shoe and that you're happy with the materials that are being used, especially if you're gonna go on the resale market, do a little bit of research, check some pictures, zoom in, do all that good stuff. So because of all the things that I just mentioned, I'm gonna give this sneaker a solid 8.4 out of 10 on the Lando meter. Ding, 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 ding. I'm sticking to that. That's what I got. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, like, and of course, comment about my video and the shoes because I will be dropping reviews as much as I possibly can. I got some heat coming from Union next week and the week after. Got some dunks, all that good stuff. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. I'll see you next time. We out. Peace.